Hello, Michael Lobb. Thank you for visiting CNGUnited.com. Glad to have you here. You know, one of the popular questions that we receive basically on a daily basis is, is, is what does that tank configuration look like? So today, I'm gonna show you a close-up look of what a tank package looks like. And you know, it starts with number one, of course, the tank. And here we have a type one tank. This tank here, the shape, regardless of the tank size that you or the tank type that you choose, will remain the same. Long, cylindrical, rounded edges. The type of tank and the material it's made of can vary and so can the cost when you adjust. This is a type one tank. It's the heaviest, it's solid steel, super heavy, about 425 pounds for this tank. For the right vehicle, this is not a problem. Uh, with your vehicle, of course, we'll have to explore which tank would best suit that vehicle based on, of course, uh, dollar amount, but also weight and utility. Meanwhile, to hold this tank in place and the gas that's in, uh, the pressure that's inside the tank would be your basic tank neck valve. Just your basic manual tank neck valve. This neck valve, of course, goes inside. This is a manual neck valve. There's also electronic solenoid neck valves that will act open and close when you uh, turn your key on. So here's your neck valve. To hold the tank and the valve in place, it takes mounting brackets. Mounting brackets with a huge footprint to secure the tanks to the vehicle. And these mounting brackets are secured with a uh, rubber moisture seal barrier that supports the tanks and keeps, allows the moisture to uh, evaporate with the ridges. This tank is securely mounted to the vehicle uh, with these brackets and with the valve. This is a tank package.